Hello, um, I'm here today with a capture device from Temu. It's a cheap um, analog to USB um, capture uh, thumb or card. Uh, it's a tiny card, if it's a card. It's got a video input and uh, composite and audio. So if you wanna record your, let's say, gameplay from old consoles, this uh, might be an option. It comes with a disc, but I didn't check what the software is. I don't think we need it. Um, it works even on a Chromebook. It basically acts as a, um, you know, audio video input device, just like your webcam or microphone. So you can use any um, capture software like your camera software for example to um, you know record the input so I'm gonna try my handheld femiclone so I'm gonna connect the audio I'm gonna connect the video I'm gonna open the camera app so it's gonna show here we go me in the basement and I'm gonna say switch. Oh, I need to turn this on first. And I'm gonna switch cameras. Uh, nothing. Yes, my handheld console is not dead, out of battery. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that should have been a... Okay, here we go. It's working. I'm gonna plug this in, turn it on. Oh, we got a video. Look at that. Um, so one thing, if you see a reverse um, video on your camera app, it's because um, of the webcam. They try to do your portrait, you know, in mirror image, so you gotta make sure that setting is off and if there are any other enhancements and whatnot you can turn those off and surprisingly not a huge delay so if you want to like a play like this uh, because when this is connected it's not going to show the game on here so you have to play on this screen Okay. Oh, some Japanese. All right, floor 01. I see a little bit of noise. Um, it could be the device or the cable. Um, after all, it's all analog stuff. Another thing is you don't hear uh, any audio from the computer. This is like a microphone input. So the, the sound goes in, it's captured. Actually, it's, nothing is captured right now because I'm not hitting record so if I start recording so this was being recorded right now I see on the top five seconds seven seconds etc uh, but again the audio uh, would be missing uh, I wouldn't be hearing it so if you want to hear an audio while capturing you would have to find a splitter and split this audio into a speaker or something and then listen it that way or maybe find a capture software that specifically, uh, you know, plays the audio while capturing. So that's that, uh, that's good. I'm gonna stop. And I'll maybe put part of this uh, capture in the video itself. And now I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna try the NTSC not NTSC, this was NTSC. I'm gonna try the PAL Atari 2600. So that's the ultimate test. So I'm gonna connect the audios and the video. Oh. And then I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, will you look at that? 
it supports PAL as well. So remember the video about how to convert PAL to NTSC and how to play PAL games and etc. all that. Well, guess what? Um, in this case, you can use this as a PAL converter because this displays PAL or the capture card supports PAL. Again, the delay, let's see, how much is the delay? Reset. Okay, I mean negligible, it's not like worse than emulator. Um, there's a little bit of delay, but it's definitely playable. So again, I'm gonna record this. It's recording and the video quality is again there's a lot of noise in here it's oh of course I didn't hear that it was alerting me but I can't hear anything so well this is great so we'll see the capture quality um, I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna upload some of those videos and we'll see well, this is great. So I'm gonna turn this off. And here is the simple dongle. I Unfortunately, I don't have any S-Video uh, devices right now, so I can't test the S-Video, but um, I mean, the way it is, the, for the price, um, I think this is a good piece of equipment if you wanna record your um, gameplay on old consoles. So let me know if you have anything like this or um, if there's a way to improve this or anything better than this or anything cheaper than this, uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you.